Understanding to Bloom and Grow, a Journey Through Idiomatic Expressions. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to dive into the beautiful and metaphorical phrase, to bloom and grow. This phrase is not just about plants, but it's a wonderful example of how English uses nature to describe personal growth and development. Let's explore this together. Bloom and grow are two words that are often used in the context of plants. To bloom means to produce flowers, and it usually refers to the period when a flower is completely open and at its most beautiful. On the other hand, to grow means to increase in size or amount, or to become more advanced or developed. When we talk about plants, growing refers to the process from a seed to a fully mature plant. In a metaphorical sense, to bloom and grow is used to describe personal development or improvement. When we say a person is blooming, it means they are coming into their own, showing their beauty or talents, much like a flower opening up. Growing, in this context, refers to personal development, learning new skills, and becoming more mature or wise. This phrase is often used to describe someone's journey in life, their learning process, or their path to self-improvement. Let's look at some examples of how this phrase is used. 1. After attending the workshop, I really felt like I began to bloom and grow in my profession. 2. Watching children bloom and grow is one of the joys of teaching. 3. The new environment was challenging, but it helped me to bloom and grow both personally and professionally. The phrase, to bloom and grow, is often found in literature and music, symbolizing hope, development, and natural beauty. One famous example is in the song, Edelweiss, from the musical, The Sound of Music, where it is used to express growth and flourishing in the face of adversity. I hope this video has helped you understand the phrase, to bloom and grow. It's a beautiful expression of personal development and flourishing, taking inspiration from the natural world. Remember, learning a language is a bit like growing a garden. It takes time, patience, and care. Keep blooming and growing in your English language journey. See you in the next video.